In part one, we learned how to enable a Hindi keyboard in System Preferences. And we can see the Hindi keyboard right here. And Kwerthi is currently selected. We also learned how to easily switch from one language input to another. And we can do so up here in the menu. Um, or we can set a shortcut. Now let's talk about fonts. So my favorite font is called Devanagari MT, which comes with macOS. It's inbuilt. Um, so in a pages document, you can see that when I switch into Hindi, so here I'll go into Devanagari Kurti here, and I type something here. Um, so you can see that it's using Helvetica to render the Hindi script. Um, but let's change this to Devanagari MT um, to see the difference. So I'm just going to scroll down here. And we'll choose Devanagari MT. And I'll write the same thing. OK, so then you can see the difference between the two. And again, Devanagari MT is my personal preference. Um, now, unfortunately, I don't know of a way to make the font style and size automatically change when you switch into Hindi. However, there is a word processor called Nicest Writer Pro that lets you do that. And I'll talk about that in the next video. Now, let's talk a little bit about the actual keystrokes you need to use um, to type in Hindi. And here I'm assuming that you're using the QWERTY Hindi keyboard, which is the most phonetic. So first of all, let's go up here to the top menu and click on Show Keyboard Viewer. Now, so this is going to be helpful, especially as you're learning. So this process is mostly phonetic. So for example, the letter J gives us a J. Ja. And if we do Shift J, we're going to get the aspirated J. Ja. So the shift key adds aspiration to a consonant. Now, what if we wanted, what if we wanted z? So to add that bottom dot to make it a dotted consonant, we type shift f. So to get this z here again, so I wrote, I typed in j and then shift f to add that dot on the bottom to make it z. Um, so therefore, if we wanted fa, we would type Shift P for the P, and then Shift F for the dot on the bottom to make it a F. And you should also know that the, the retroflex consonants are typed using the Option key. So while the the regular, while the T key is going to give us the dental th, if we do Option T, it gives us that retroflex d. And to make that aspirated we would simply add the shift key. So then I do option shift T to get the aspirated retroflex T. Finally, um, it's important to know that the F key on its own um, is used to stop a consonant's inherent vowel. Therefore, to type Hindi, so we type H, I for the short E, and then I'm going to type N for uh, here, let me do that again, H-I-N, and then I type the F key to stop the inherent vowel of that N, and then D, shift I for the long E at the end. So that was H-I-N-F, D, shift I. So those are the basics about choosing a font and which keystrokes to use when typing in Hindi. In the next video, in part three, I'll talk about a premium software solution called Nicest Writer Pro for people who want a little more control um, and some more advanced options.